So it finally happened. Just a mere three hours post trailer release, it's already at 26 million views. The gaming world is going insane. So without further ado, let's watch this trailer and maybe I'll pick up on some things that you might have missed. So let's get into it because this is GTA 6 trailer one. So the opening shot here is very beautiful, of course. We have a nice sunset. But as you can see, this portion of the map over here looks to be like the prison that you're going to see in just a moment. Uh, if you look into the distance here, you can see that the Vice City skyline looks a lot bigger than Los Santos at a first glance. And if you look closely at the road here, you can see that the Gauntlet Hellfire is returning from GTA 5. Uh, looking a little bit more down, you can see that this pickup truck is towing a boat which obviously confirms that towing boats is a feature that is returning. On the side of this truck, we can see the Patriot Beer branding, which confirms that those little in-game brands that Rockstar is known for uh, will be featured within the lore of this game as well. Next, we have our first look at none other than Lucia. During the leaks last year, we were told that the opening scene of GTA 6 would be a prison break, and it's looking like that might actually be the case now. For what she's in prison for, we have no idea but I'm assuming we'll be figuring that out pretty, pretty soon. It's also rumored that Lucia will be wearing an ankle monitor throughout the beginning stages of the game, and that would give a reason to restrict access to certain parts of the map, kind of like Rockstar has been known to do in the past GTA games, which would be a cool way to put a spin on it. Next, Lucia can be seen talking to a prison counselor named Stephanie, as you can see on her name card, and she asks Lucia, do you know why you're here? In which we get a very clear frame of her where she responds with, Bad luck, I guess. In this next scene, we can see that yachts will be returning. But not only that, but the water graphics and the physics look incredible. I mean, just compare this water to the one in Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar's latest game. And it seems to be like it's a monumental increase in terms of graphics and physics. Not only that, but we can see some dolphins off in the distance. So again, adding to... Uh, to the wildlife that we know is going to be in the game. And of course, we have some more speedboats some sea sharks over here, lots of lots of wildlife. You can literally see through the water, which is a, a graphical upgrade when in comparison to GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, where you can't really see through the water at all. But the density of water in terms of the NPCs here and the wildlife looks very nice. This leads to a panning shot of the city. And right off the bat, you can see that the skyline looks massive in comparison to Los Santos. Just take a look at this comparison. You can also see a plane flying in the distance, which is actually a dodo plane, in which they are carrying a sign that says Y69 when you can 919, which I think is a sexual innuendo. I actually hope it is because I'm craving that raunchy rockstar humor. You can also see a Maverick helicopter in the distance here, which would be a returning vehicle from GTA 5. But other than that, this scene, the skyline looks massive. Not only that, you can see just how many trees there are in this one specific area. The foliage looks incredible as well. Hopefully that's something we'll be seeing throughout the entire map. This next shot here goes by pretty quickly, but it shows off some palm trees and some more foliage on the map. And if you look closely at these windows over here on the bottom, you can see that they're kind of 3D looking. So I believe Rockstar has come up with a way to make these unenterable places uh, look a little bit more realistic and add some depth. This part of the map will be called the Everglades, which resembles the swamps around Florida. I'd assume that the swamps will be similar in how they look and feel in Red Dead Redemption 2, in terms of that marshy land with gators all over the place. You can also see that there is a fan boat being driven, which was first seen back Back in those massive leaks uh, about a year ago, it showed off this vehicle. So now it's just confirmation that this would be a drivable vehicle. This next shot of the Everglades shows off the wildlife in this game. And just look how dense it is with all those majestic flamingos. The density of the wildlife is something I'm hoping is true to the open world and not just something they've dressed up for this specific trailer. You can also see a gator when you zoom in carefully, which will most likely act similar to the ones in Red Dead 2. Okay, there's a lot to unpack from this one scene at the beach here. First of all, the character models look incredible. The sheer density of the NPCs is mind-blowing. When you compare it back to GTA 5's beach area, I just hope you'll be able to have this kind of world density while still maintaining 60 frames per second while playing. Next, you can see that this bodybuilder here seems to be running with a dog that looks like a chihuahua. If you look up in the sky, you can see a Buckingham Super Valido. And over more east, you can see a Sea Sparrow. 
which is a helicopter that can land on water, and both these vehicles will be returning from GTA 5. You can also see that Sea Sharks will be returning, the jet skis, and you may also notice that the pickup truck near the water has seemingly lowered a boat onto the water from its trailer, so that might be something that the player will be able to do within the open world of Vice City. But all in all, you can see that there's a lot going on in this scene. I just hope that this kind of density and uh, world is what we'll be seeing in a lot of the map, and not just certain specific areas. But if anyone can do it, it's Rockstar. Uh, you can also see this gentleman over here recording this fine young lady shaking her buttocks, uh, maybe trying to go viral on TikTok. So next, we have our first look at the Vice City docks area. Let's just pray there's no mission similar to scouting the port from GTA 5, as that was a lot of players' least favorite mission from the entire game, including myself. Finally, we have a first look at what nighttime will be looking like within this world. You can see we have some confirmed locations of the world, like Kelly County, Vice City International Airport, and Stockyard Downtown. And if you fast forward a little bit, you can actually see that the woman that's sticking out of the convertible is being filmed by the sports car in front of them. And the car that they're in seems to be a brand new car. The two people in this red car actually seem to be Jason and Lucia. Next, we can see a car meet taking place with some lowriders and some huge wheeled Florida special cars. This means we can probably put lift kits on our vehicles along with putting different sized rims. This green car over here seems to resemble a Chrysler 300C and I can only imagine how in-depth car customization is going to be in this game. This blue car over here seems to resemble a Primo from GTA 5 and in the sky you can see a police helicopter which makes me wonder if cops would just routinely patrol the world even in helicopters helicopters and boats instead of only while the cops are after you. The art on these walls look beautiful. Next we have an official look at the Jack of Hearts strip club. At a quick glance, you can see that someone is throwing ones at a stripper, some bottle service girls are bringing out the bottles, and a guy right here is catching a bubble from a stripper. This right here fellas, this is where boys will become men. One thing to take note of again is the sheer density of the NPCs. It definitely looks a lot more wild in here than it ever did inside of Vanilla Unicorn in GTA 5. Make it rain Mondays. Next we can see two NPCs which appear to be some sort of gang members. You can see that he's wearing grills, big chains, and a gold watch and a ring on all at once. The chains look really good and have some depth to them, which is something I've wanted in a Saints Row game for a long time. But this is GTA baby, screw Saints Row. The tattoos look heavily improved as well. I hope there's a vast array of them to choose from, whether in single player or in online. Even the beard hair looks very realistic. This night shot of Vice City looks incredible. Again, we have yachts in the water, along with a ton of boats on the left hand side of the screen. You can also see a tennis court, which means this activity will most likely be within the game, just as it was in GTA 5. The look of the clouds is really nice too. It leads me to believe that they'll be using a similar technique to how they made the clouds in RDR 2. Next, we have the Vice City Strip with a whole lot of stuff going on. Firstly, zooming into the distance, we can see that the Ocean View Hotel will in fact be returning. Hell yeah. We can see a lot of returning cars from GTA 5. It's worth noting that some of these vehicles were only in GTA Online and never present within the single player. But starting off, this first car is a Fister Comet S2 based off a of Porsche. Next, we have a Grotti Cheetah Classic based on a Ferrari Testarossa, and in front of that is a Grotti Carbonazer, which is one of the only cars here that was present within the story mode of GTA 5 out of all the ones in this scene here. Next, we have a variant of the Gauntlet Hellfire based off a Dodge Challenger. We can also see a glimpse of a car that heavily resembles a Lamborghini Huracan. You can also see a Cockett D10, which is supposed to be a Corvette C8. In front of it, you can see a car that resembles a Dodge Durango, and beside that car, you can see a Tailgator, which was Michael's personal vehicle in GTA 5 based off the Audi A6. And beside that car, you can see a Shafter, which was also in GTA 5. You can also see the Karen Karuma. Over to the right side of the screen, you can see a homeless person here, and he looks like he has an iguana on his shoulder. Man, the random world encounters in this game are going to be out of this dimension. I can't wait. In this scene here, we can see a nightclub with a DJ performing some music. The lighting looks really good with how certain characters are illuminated and the red beam lights from the ceiling. You can tell Rockstar will be going above and beyond in terms of presentation within this game. Enterable interiors is something GTA fans have been wanting for so, so long now. So we can only hope that this game has a ton of them with no loading screens. Next, we can see this area, which is based off the Florida Keys. This area is currently unknown in terms of the name, but some are speculating that it will be called the Vice 
ice keys. We can see another dodo bird here, along with some more yachts and boats yet again. Something to note is that we can see a cargo ship that is actually moving. It is interesting because all cargo ships in GTA 5 were stationary, so I guess you can drive cargo ships in this game. Next, we have an NPC who some are saying is Lucia, but if you look closely, it's actually not. She doesn't have the same birthmarks as her, so I think it's just a random NPC. This seems to be one of the more viral moments of the trailer, and I just can't quite put my finger as to why. Now make your way to Horny Jail. Looking more to our right, you can see that the water graphics again look really polished, with certain parts of the skin, with certain parts of their skin looking wet after going into the pool. A close-up shot of the Vice sign to 1000% confirm we are indeed in Vice City, if you had any doubts at all at this point. You can put those to rest. Goodbye, Vinewood. Next, we have Rockstar's take on Instagram Reels or TikTok, whatever you make of it. You can see here that Dad Bod Squad has posted about a yacht party, and it looks like a bunch of NPCs are dancing around. Next, we can see an alligator being taken out of a pool, which leads me to believe that there will be a bunch of random world encounters regarding the gators surrounding Vice City, which could lead to some hilarious moments. On to the next clip, we have another viral moment from this trailer people seem to be sharing like crazy, and it's this character twerking on top of a car. The crazy part is, this is the shit you'd actually see while scrolling through TikTok, so it's honestly pretty realistic. But I'm wondering if it's like a taunt that the players can do, or maybe it's just something you see randomly in the world. One thing I can say though, is that the hair from this character is flowing very nicely in the air, and it looks really realistic. Next, we have a wicked shot of the underground street racing scene, and I just know racing, car customization, and the whole car culture is going to be be so heavily embedded within the world, and I absolutely love that. The smoke texture of the burnouts look great, the density of the NPCs again look impressive, and the lighting from not only the street lights, but the headlights on the cars look good too. Uh, you can actually see that there's a cameraman in the middle of the cars doing a burnout, which is actually very realistic. You see those, those takeover videos all over the place. I always see them on Twitter. I'll put one up on the screen now. Uh, you see it a lot, especially in the Florida area. We have two NPCs dancing and it looks like they're uh, on TikTok live or Instagram live with a bunch of random comments. So I guess social media is going to have a heavy presence within this world. Again, going back to the random encounters we will be seeing regarding the gators. I truly hope this is something that can happen randomly within the world. This is hilarious. You can also see that Go Postal, the delivery service from GTA 5 will be returning. One thing to note is that the gas station interior here looks a lot better than the GTA 5 gas stations in my opinion. This next body cam scene confirms that the first person mode will in fact be returning. Hopefully, it feels tighter and more fluid than in, than it did in GTA 5. It's hard to tell what's going on in this scene, but for a brief moment you can see a fella on the far right wearing dual gun holsters that are somewhat similar to Max Payne. Some more wild social media footage of a fat guy running around the world while being chased by a cop. This makes me believe that the notoriety system will be a lot more lenient at first. Instead of shooting you right off the bat, they might just try to chase you down first. Next, the roads look really good with the reflectiveness of the rain here alongside with the overcast weather being displayed. Note that the name of the account is Planet Leonida Man. According to sources, Leonida is the fictional name of the state of Florida, just like how San Andreas was California. Next, we get a few more confirmed locations, the Vice Beaches, Port VC slash Keys, and again, VCI Airport in Kelly County. We can also see that the Ruiner from GTA 5 is returning, and that the roads while it's raining are going to look really, really nice. The reflections look dope. It almost looks like one of those graphics mods you used to see in GTA 4 and GTA 5. Next, we can see this fella sticking out of his car. Again, the hair seems to be flowing very nicely with the wind. I think that's going to be a feature that when you're going fast, your hair is going to flow very realistic. Uh, I guess that will be present when you're on a motorcycle without wearing a helmet. The paint job on his car looks like a pearlescent candy type paint. So I'm assuming they're going to be uh, introducing some new types of paints for car customization here. This shot here is, uh, well, I'm not sure, but it's a dude in his speedo watering his grass and the foliage looks great. One thing to note is actually how realistic the skin looks with the red burn marks. Next, we can see that monster trucks will be returning, and we could also see that similar to Red Dead Redemption 2, when you fall in muddy places, your character will actually get dirty. This seems to be a dirt racing track, as you can see a car in the distance doing a stunt jump. Next, we can see this very menacing looking granny with dual wielding hammers that looks to be like she wants to commit some acts of violence. 
Uh, you can also see the muscle car behind her. I believe that's going to be a new car. And from the caption, Neighborhood Watch, don't play around in Hamlet. I guess Hamlet will be a location within the map. Next, it looks like we have some college kids partying and uh, a guy doing an elbow drop through a table. Very WWE-S. And for form, I give him a solid 7 out of 10. I would have gave him a perfect 10, but the table didn't snap in half. But one thing to note is that when he spills all the liquid, it looks very realistic, which makes me think it's hard to tell if some of these scenes are cutscenes or gameplay. I can't really tell, but I guess over time we'll be able to see. Next, we can see some Kelly County Sheriff Department police cars in this scene. And how good does it feel to see some white and green cop cars again in a GTA game? The police car here seems to be based off a of Crown Vic. We can also see an advertisement for some sort of dissociative called Angstapen, which claims to cure emotion, which seems to be a joke about how rampant antidepressants are in modern society. It then pans to a shot that reveals that Jason is the driver of the car. One thing to note is that we don't know for sure if his name is actually confirmed to be Jason or not. We can only assume based off the leaks that that is his actual name. Throughout the whole trailer, only Lucia's name is ever said out loud. Another thing to note is that Jason's appearance seems to have been altered quite a bit since the leaks, which I actually think is a good thing. I like this new look. Another shot of Lucia here looking worried as they are trying to escape from the cops because it seems they had just robbed a store together as evident by their masks on their neck that we will be seeing on their face in just a moment. If I had to guess, this is probably an early mission in the game as it seems to be a pretty petty heist for some quick cash. One thing to note is that the cop cars drove right past Jason and Lucia, which could again potentially hit that the notoriety system is a lot more complex this time around. This next scene shows off that there will be some unmarked cop cars and that they will be based off the Dodge Challenger. Maybe after a certain point of notoriety, they'll come after you. And of course, Weasel News is back. Next, we have a criminal on screen with the caption of Confession wrote in ink in tattoos. A tattoo on the neck gave himself away. Key in the conviction of a man from Leonida. What's very interesting to me is that this is all written in Spanish. If you guys remember a while back, there was reports that a very small portion of the game would take place in Cuba. Kind of like the Guarma section in RDR2. Which leads me to believe that this could be showing off exactly that. Also, face tats confirmed. Here we can see a dirt bike gang that is something you'd see straight out of Philly. One thing to note is that we now have seen a dirt bike gang, a mud racing gang, and a street racing gang. Maybe this story will focus heavily on the many gang worlds of the underground Vice City. At this intersection, we can see even more different looking cop cars with those cruisers being based off of Ford Taurus, alongside a cruiser in the middle being based off of a Dodge Charger. You can also see a RWB Porsche, which is the Comet Retro, and up top you can see that the Banshee is returning. And if you look closely here, it looks like the Karen Futo is also returning. Just look how good this player model looks. I mean, he doesn't look very healthy, but his model looks incredible. It seems that this guy is part of some underworld crew called the High Rollers Lifestyle. And behind him, you can see that green Chrysler 300 again. It doesn't look like he has a Vice City plate, so it hints that you'll be able to change your plate and customize what you want it to say as well. This is seemingly the scene prior to the car chase we just saw with Jason and Lucia robbing the store for some cash. One thing to note is that they both have their masks on their face, so this is probably something you can toggle on and off like in Red Dead. If you just look at the fidelity of the bottle, that they are walking by, it just looks really impressive graphically. You can also see that E. Cola and Pisswasser is returning. This next scene seems to be right after the robbery when Jason and Lucia are making their escape in this muscle car. In the background, you can see that the benefactor Dubsta will be making a return. The car Jason is driving is a Declassy Tulip, which is also a returning car from GTA Online. As they drive by the sign, we can see that one area of the map will be called Port Gelhorn. This next shot officially confirms that Jason and Lucia are in fact in a relationship. There was rumors that they were either going to be a Bonnie and Clyde type couple or siblings, but now we can put those rumors to rest. They are clearly in a relationship. This is the point where we hear Jason talk for the very first time of the trailer. Trust. Trust. And for the final scene, 
we can finally see the store that they were robbing. I think it's pretty safe to assume this is the same mission as they're wearing the same outfit with the same masks. And if you look in the background, the car they were escaping in prior to this scene is right there. But here we have both characters in action. Afterwards, we get a look at the official logo and that it will be coming in 2025. Now we do know Rockstar is planning on releasing this game in the fiscal year of 2024, which would mean it would be sometime before April 2025, but only time will tell. Another thing to note is that Rockstar has mentioned PS5 and Xbox Series X, but nowhere have they said anything about the PC, which suggests that the PC version will be delayed from the console releases, unfortunately. Well, that's it. I can't believe it finally happened. There's plenty more to discuss and cover, so if you're new here, give your boy a subscribe and I'll bake you some cookies. See you soon!